Happy Friday Year 1! I'm starting this video with all of your brilliant work from Monday's lesson. See if you can spot yours. Well done everyone! Fantastic description of Little Red Riding Hood. And some lovely adjectives used. She has a red hot. Yep. She has a brown. Brown. Basket. A brown basket. Hi, Year One, and welcome to our last writing lesson of the week. So, it's our third and final one today. If you haven't managed to catch the other videos this week for writing, pause the video now and just have a little look at them so you know where we're up to. Well done for all your work this week. As we've just seen in our role on the Wall Hall of Fame, you've all done a brilliant job. You've used fantastic adjectives to describe Little Red Riding Hood and you've written brilliant sentences I saw lots of capital letters, finger spaces and full stops in there. So you've really been listening and trying hard. Well done, year one. So, as I mentioned in Wednesday's lesson, this is going to be a very independent lesson. OK, so we're going to go on a writing journey now to inspire you. And then it's your job to create your own role on the wall for a different character from the Little Red Riding Hood story. I wonder who you can figure out who it is. And then do your own independent sentences. Come on, let's go.
is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood left her mum's house and entered the forest. She knew the way to Grandma's. She went there all the time. Oh, some nice flowers. Grandma would love those. <gasps> oh no. A wolf. Here are your chilli challenges. Chilli one, write three adjectives to describe, that you've guessed it, the wolf. Chilli two, apply your knowledge and write a sentence describing the wolf. And Chilli three, can you write a sentence comparing the characters of Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf? So it might be, the wolf is not kind, but Little Red Riding Hood is. <laughs>